All right, welcome back, guys, to the next episode of our Wolong Let's Play. I took the liberty of doing a little bit off stream, and I got ourselves up to level 62 with the Earth Virtue of 44. I wasn't able to really upgrade any weapons or armor because I have not gotten rank 7 materials, but I was able to get a couple levels. The next uh, mission we want to do recommends 55, and we were underneath that. So I went ahead and I got about 10 levels relatively easily. I just did the um, the Hanshui River quest a couple times and got a whole lot of experience. So now we should be in good shape to continue. We have the Tiger's Loyal Subjects right down here, a sub-battlefield. This one requires uh, level 53. Cheng Pu wants to duel us. So, let's do that. Hopefully, he's not too difficult. I don't think he is. So, Huang Gai is in here too. And Hong Dong. To challenge a servant of the Jiang Dong Tiger. But is your strength equal to your courage? I severely doubt it. I shall fight as well. I trust you will support me, Eagle. Understood. <laughs> Fighting numerous enemies at the same time is tough. Your might was almost terrifying to behold. It will take intense effort if I am to compete with you. Okay. The Tyrant's Final Banquet. Level 55 recommended, which we're significantly above now. Looks like there's 14 flags here, so this is going to be a beefy... A beefy one. Rank 6 leather times 3. Although I think we're on rank 7 leather now. Mei Wu Fort was built as a formidable defense for Chang'an. It was there that Dong Zhuo retreated with this horde of elixir to plan his next move. Hong Jing has managed to slip past the guards and enter the fort alone. She is surely in serious danger. Alright. Let's go rescue our waifu. This looks pretty. <laughs> I came here with Hong Jing as we continued our search for Elixir. I don't know what her plan was, but she has entered the fort alone. 
I would like you to sneak in, find her, and bring her back. Okay. Well, that wasn't too difficult. There. There's a flag down there. We should maintain our high ground though for now. Oh shit. Doesn't look like we can. Okay, we'll continue along the battlements. There is somebody in there. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, we'll continue to clear above. up there. Absorb vitality here. Get a little bit of healing. It's pretty. So we found three of the major flags, but we have yet to find any of the minor flags. Looks like there's a, there's a couple guards on the roofs with bows, and then there's more heavily armored people down below in the courtyard. Ooh, we can't open it. Okay. Oh, wow. We missed the jump. Then we lost morale. And then we got our ship pushed in. Wow, that was an awful fall. Let's go. 
It's going to be pretty hard to heal ourselves back up <clears throat> using uh, just absorb vitality, but we can try. I think there's a little one over there. Maybe we can go and get it. That's a heck of a fight down there. Let's go ahead and buff ourselves. That's such a good martial art. Damn it. I'm so I'm so bad. I keep getting locked in these animations. But I don't want to play like that either, where I only hit one button ever, just waiting for them to use a power attack on me so that I can deflect it. It just seems so slow and methodical. It's not necessarily a bad way to play the game, but... <laughs> I'd rather attack, you know? I want to be aggressive, I want to be on the offense. Which often means that I find myself in the middle of an attack animation when an enemy does a power attack. I guess that's the trade-off for wanting to be aggressive. Oh, I guess I can. I wasn't sure if it would let me do that. Okay, we'll buff ourselves. Don Ming. Okay. Let's do it. You just lost half your health, Don Ming. too early. Yeah, I got that one, at least. So I'm at only 8 morale. 
And I'm at only four fortitude, which is even worse. That gives me ten. Maybe I can drop down on them. Shit. It's a little archer, it is. Too, but it might not be that valuable. Alright, good. This will allow me to drop down on these guys. Fortitude's up to six now, which is fantastic. That's probably the flag that I saw at the very beginning of the level, if I had to guess. So now we're going underground, huh? Oh yeah, creepy. All that malevolent cheese. Looks like there's a Taoist over here that I don't want to deal with. Shit. is definitely draining. All right. Let's see if we can maybe shoot him in the head one more time. He's got a lot of health. Got him. Rank 7 leather, nice. That's what I'm talking about. Some of that rank 7 stuff going. We have to look and see what that elixir does. Because we have a million of them. 
Raises morale rank temporarily and increases spirit gain when used, but causes spirit to slowly decrease over time. Huh. Interesting. Maybe it's something I could use at the beginning of, like, a difficult fight. Spirits like effed. Of course, of course, he backs up. Got him out of spirit. How the fuck? <laughs> he glowed red, um, as if I could use the visceral attack on him. But then he kept attacking. Weird. Maybe it was just a visual bug. Nice rank seven leather. Jailer's note. Looks like a really difficult area. Perhaps I should heal myself up. I don't normally do this in the middle of levels. Um, but I'm going to this time. Man, I only hit him for 30. 
That sucks. <laughs> He's got so much health, too. I don't know what we're supposed to do to this guy. Oh, man. He's hitting us really hard, too. Maybe we just get out of range of him. I think we got just about everything in here. Oh boy. One of our favorite enemies. We might be able to uh, get behind it real quick. Oh, nice. We were, we were able to. Okay, 
Let's uh, drop him something. There you go. Nice. Is he flute? Dragon Vein Essence. Yeah, buddy. So now we have plus five Estus, which is really nice. There's our shortcut. Hmm. Got a big dude down there. Didn't work out. It's a long way up. That's that. We're at five of six flags, but only four of eight of the little standards. So I feel like we missed a couple, which is going to suck to go back through, but what are you going to do? How tough do you think these guys are? Not very.
Nice. I don't know what Sacred Lotus does. Looks like he's killed some people. Damn. Yeah, he got hit hard. Nice. Imposing slab is putting in work. Entertainer's Diary. There's a guy hiding. Can't get over there. Just have to know that uh, the trees are speaking Mandarin. Fast. He was quick on the draw. There it is. At least there's one of them. We'll have to keep that in mind when we're going through this area. Yeah. We could probably sneak up on this guy. If he goes back down the stairs, which he probably does. Jeez. <laughs> I had to stop that guy. Oh, I didn't know there was a final hit to that. That's my fault. Dude. Oh, look at that motherfucker. I see you. Of course he hits me with that. <laughs> Thought I might low profile it by dropping down on him, but no.
Oh, I bet that unlocks the very beginning. Yep. Very beginning. That is what I thought. Looks like we did get the flag though. Or is that not our flag? I don't remember. Okay, nice. We got the big boy shortcut open. feel about this. I doubt it's like a final boss fight. Maybe we can sneak up on him. Oh. He's very much aware we're here. I'd say we did that a lot cleaner than the first time we fought that boss. <laughs> Back practically in the tutorial. Mm, Alright, can't open that. I believe we, we probably missed two flags. Because this has got to be pretty deep into the level at this point. We know where one of them is. Because we kind of saw them. Right, it's down here, yeah. Because we saw that earlier. But, um, I have no idea where the other two were going to be. There's one, actually. Huh, so did we only miss one? One flag? Not too bad, actually. If that's the case, we did pretty good. Let's get a buffed backstab on this guy. Wow. Okay. Didn't end up happening. It's okay. Rank 6 steel. Okay. Yeah, we missed a flag. Oh shit. Uh, 
that did nothing to him. We're in trouble. Okay, that's okay. Tiger, and there's a big boy down there. be able to get a buffed backstab on him. Actually, let's back up. Because we can get a bunch of health off of him, too. Maybe. Oh, yeah. Right. Full health. The full health one shot. I was kind of hoping there'd be a flag here, to be honest. Because that would mean we didn't miss one in our way through the game. I'm surprised this guy didn't shoot at me the whole time I was fighting all that stuff. Good guy Taoist, I guess. There's an item up there. Interesting. to. Ha! Huh. We didn't. We didn't miss a flag. I don't know, man. I'm actually kind of impressed by that. Is there a main flag anywhere near here? Because we should probably level and all that before we fight this boss. Yeah, it's right down here. Alright, let's do that. Boom. We are level 66 now. feels strong. And let's see, I hope it's not Hong Jing, because I actually like her. I like her character. I think she's one of the most interesting characters in the game so far. And um, I hope we don't have to fight her. We probably will at some point. That Taoist will probably um, corrupt her in some way. And then we'll be forced to kill her. And that might be right now. Hopefully not. Lou Boo. Fuck me. Not again. Dio Chan. <coughs> Dong Zhuo. That's me. messed up my entertainment. In that case, I shall just have to improvise. Oh, With he's got a blade, screams. huh? Damn, so I'm fighting Don Juo. <laughs> your screams will be music to my ears. 
Let's begin the performance. I'd really like you to come through on this. If you want to bring down the great control. Okay, he came through a lot of them. Damn, he's relentless. Until a time like this. <laughs> I just spanked his ass because Lou Boo's with Dio John and the elixir. Oh, it has no. played on my mind ever since I saw you at Hulaguan Pass. But how could I forget how bravely you always held yourself? So, brother. Why? Why do you stand with Dong Zhuo? Hong Zhao? Hong Jing is Lu Bu's brother? You mistake me for another. What? what? Uh, hmm? Lu Bu? An assassin? Your tongue with perfect timing. You shall make a fine soldier. Wait, Dio Chan is Lu Bu's sister in this? <gasps> Betray me? Very well. The elixir is yours. Lubu. Well, I have many questions. Go before things get out of hand. Brother! Don't worry about me. Zhong Liao, take her away. Time to leave. Please, please. Oh, Zhang Liao. He's such a fucking awesome guy. What a cool character. What will he do with the elixir? I simply follow General Liu's orders. Please, this way. Okay. You. you saved me yet again. I had to make sure. But at last I'm convinced. Oh, another spirit beast. He it's Hong Jin. I always wanted to be like your brother, Lu Bu. You should have uh, to, said that. And then he left without a farewell. I need to know why he set his sights on the elixir. Otherwise, I'll never be able to get things back to normal. Seeing you fearlessly face up to the demonic tea has given me determination. It may take force to get the truth out of him. But there's no one he would tell other than me. Wait, is red hair her... her divine beast? It pretty much is. It's a direct reference. Hmm. Interesting. I will never give up. For when it comes to being stubborn, even my brother cannot best me. <clears throat> to think he survived. I... I hope the day will come when we can train together once more. Interesting turn of events. Zizi's Jade. Through swearing an oath. Familial ties, Trovier. Alright, cool. 
we 100%ed the level without having to look it up, which is cool. That's nice and organic. I'd prefer to do it that way. Although there might have been like a Dragon Bane Essence or Crystal or something that we missed. It looks like for the most part we did what we were supposed to do. We even found the Panda. And so, yet another star falls over Mei Wu Fort. After defeating Dong Zhuo, Lu Bu took the elixir and turned his back to the fort. The elixir was now in the hands of the strongest warrior in the entire land. Cao Cao, fearing what Lu Bu might be capable of, deployed his forces to bring him down. However, he lost Pu Yang to his adversary and found himself on the back foot as Lu Bu's forces struck back. Make way! We must retake Puyang! You're fighting well, but stay sharp! The Algerian's about to lose his eye to an arrow here, probably. Your name, Lu Bu. Is this all the great South Sao can muster? <sighs> you went wrong. Hold back for now. Ziao Yuan, Cao Cao's famous archer. His uh, son's a pretty cool character too, later on in the storyline. Not maybe in this game, but in the Dynasty Warriors games anyway. I am Jun Yu, General Cao's advisor. Initially, Colonel Xia Ho was tasked with defending Puyang City. However, it was assaulted by Lu Bu while he was away, and it was taken. Okay, Ziao Dune. I don't mind having you with us, as long as you pull your weight. As long as I pull my weight, dude. Fuck off. <laughs> I'm carrying all these battles for you. All right, let's um. We can travel back. We're in part five now. Okay, so part four. We do have several. Oh my god, look at that. We have. We have like five new battles in part four we have to do. They're all sub battles. We have the fate of the entertainer, the massacre at Mei Wu Fort, the realm of battle, green plum warm liquor, which gives rank seven leather, which we need, and Zhao Yun's exile. So that's a lot. We got a lot to do in part four before we uh, <laughs> we hit the head five. Uh, we go to part five. Let's go back to the hidden mountain. <clears throat> we can upgrade, salvage some stuff, and then we can endeavor to finish the rest of all these part four missions, of which they just dropped five of them on us. They all look like relatively short submissions, but we're still going to have to go through them all. Welcome. Upgrade. Okay. We have just enough leather to upgrade all of our gear to plus six. And then we will do the armor to plus seven, and we'll do the greaves to plus seven, because those are the two big defensive upgrades for us. We have no rank 7 steel. We don't have any. Um, so we're not able to get our weapons up to rank 7 yet, which is a shame. But we'll get there. Let's also go to salvage. 
and salvage some of this crap that we just got during this last mission. I don't think we got too much stuff, but... Yeah, we got more than I thought. Sell 1200 of these. 1240, I guess. Oop. And now we're at 3.6 million copper. Seems like a lot. <laughs> and hopefully we can start getting some rank 7 upgrade materials for our spear and our dual blades so we can start doing a little bit more damage there. We've been able to level up quite a few times. We're level 66 now. It looks like our main hand attack power is 419, which seems very strong. And our stone spell power is 292. So that's also just picking up over and over again. Our wizardry spells are still very expensive. Our martial arts are down to 82.7, though, which is pretty good. At some point, oh, big yawn, we're going to have to uh, double down on essentially martial arts or wizardry. It feels like for wizardry, we'd maybe want to go, I don't know, wood. And then for martial arts, we'd want to go fire, just to get those kind of cheaper. And we could also put it on our gear for cheaper martial arts and uh, cheaper wizardry. But for now, I, I think this, this is a nice balance that we have going here, this kind of earth build with the spear. We have relatively heavy armor. We're not getting one shot by enemies. You know, we're, we've, uh, we have 523 defense, so we've been able to maintain, I think, a, a very healthy defense and our damage output is substantial i don't think it's nearly as high as it could be if we built for more damage we could have 50 fire right now and, and have some kind of like bronze spear or something that scales really well with that but i think this spear scaling with earth and having the imposing slab i think it's working i think we're doing it dong Zhou went down like panties on prom night no problem first uh, first time i've ever seen him first time i've ever fought him he was very aggressive, and he had a very long reach with his uh, glaive, so it was definitely a little intense, but I never felt like I was in substantial danger, and he took a fuckload of damage, so, um, yeah, we're doing it. <laughs> I'll see you guys back for the next episode. Thanks for joining me.